Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. In this YouTube video, I will take you step by step through the exciting process of setting up your Node.js environment for your Nodeboards, acquiring the necessary hardware and creating your first Nodeboard that can interact with the world around it. To get started with this project, you need an Arduino board, a wire to connect Arduino to your computer, and a computer. I'm going to start with going to the Google and search Nodeboards. From there, I will click on to the Nodeboards.io. And here, we will find a lot of information related to Nodeboards, but we don't need that at the moment. Search for Node.js download and you want to click this one which says download Node.js and it's from Node.js.org. You want to go here and there's two options which is LTS and current. Um, it will automatically select LTS but if it doesn't then select LTS and because I am on the Mac so I'm going to click the Mac installer. After this one it's going to start downloading. You can finish the process of this downloading and then you can come to the terminal and search terminal here and then click on to that one type node dash v and then if you see the version number right there that means it's successfully installed now now i'm just going to take my arduino and plug it in once i plugged it in you can see the light is on now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my terminal and paste this command here to flash Fermata on my Arduino so I can use Johnny5 library. Once the process is finished, I'm gonna go to my browser and search Johnny5. Now that I'm on my browser, I'm gonna click onto the Johnny5.io page. I'm gonna scroll down onto the page and look for the package. So right here it says to install Johnny5 library using npm. Use this command. So I'm gonna copy this command and I'm gonna go to my desktop and make a new folder called Arduino.js. Now you can name it anything. After I make that, I'm gonna open the new terminal onto the folder. And once I do that, I'm gonna paste the command right here that I was just copying before. Once I am finished with that, I need to use VS Code. So I'm gonna go back in the Google Chrome till the process finishes. And here it says run your program using node blink.js so i'm gonna make a new file called blink.js but i'm just waiting for this process to finish so yep now that this is finished i'm gonna make a new file called blink.js using the touch command and i'm opening the blink.js using code command which will open that in my vs studio now i'm copying this command back from google chrome and pasting it into the file called blink.js once I copy this, this code literally means every 500 milliseconds the light will flash. And here I have the Arduino and LED. The long side of the LED goes in pin 13 and the short side goes to ground. Now I'm gonna go to my terminal and run node blink.js. And once it's run, it's gonna blink every 500 milliseconds. Yep, that's the one. Thank you for watching guys.